it's been really successful, Destiny has. Uh, at the same time, you've taken a lot of flack for the game already. In retrospect, are you happy with the game, with what you achieved? Yeah, I mean, we're really happy with what we achieved with the game. You know, we have players are playing so much, and you know, we have over three million people coming back to play every single day. They're averaging over three hours of gameplay, which is so much more than we ever expected to get out of. We have players play the. Um, when you have that much passion, you put that much time into it, I think you expect people to find things to complain about, yeah. Okay. There's been rumors that the game was originally having a much broader scope that you kind of like cut away pieces of the story. There were people who said they were part of focus group testing where there was a much more elaborate story. Then the traveler was supposed to be some sort of villain that was to be revealed later. All uh -huh. that. I'm pretty sure you kind of like heard about it at least. Yep. Is that anything? Can you comment on that? Is, was it cut in any way, was that supposed to be a bigger chunk of Destiny at first? Well, I think with, uh, I can say fairly for all of, all of the games I've worked on, certainly all of the Halo games Bungie ever built and Destiny, we have so many versions of the story, so many ideas for what the characters are and what they mean and what the fiction is as you're building the game. And yeah, there, have been, there were many stories written for Destiny. And uh, in the end, we, you know, we shipped with the story that we believed matched the, the, the game and, and our ability to deliver it. Mm -hmm. But it, to me, it also it ends rather abruptly. But it is this. This is what you wanted it to be from the get-go. The um, well, like I said it's it changed. The story changed so often throughout it. I, mean, I think there are, um, you know, we're we're doing even now with this. We have a DLC coming out, The Dark Below, uh, in December, on December 9th. and like we're we're going to tell story in a new way in that one. You're going to put a new character in the tower. Or she's a survivor. She has a rich backstory. She's going to be your narrator and driver through this chunk of fiction, mm -hmm. and um, I think we're, you know, internally we had lots of conversations and arguments about what the best way to tell stories in Destiny was going to be, and we're still going to keep working on it, evolving it over time. Okay, and also my major gripe with the game would be mission design. You yeah. Know, kind of like go there, your ghost does something, uh -huh. fight waves of enemies, <laughs> uh -huh. move on and repeat. Yes. Would you at least agree that that is probably not the standard that Bungie usually aspires to? The, um, the, there are definitely uh, variety in, in mission design, game interaction in the world are, are, are core things that even in this next, you'll see in the DLC, but are, are things we're working on moving forward with. I mean, Destiny is a, it's a big game, it's a huge challenge. Putting it online, delivering it with characters that you bring across all, all the activities, launching on four platforms, bringing the game to the PlayStation was a huge thing for us that, I mean, in 2000 was the last time Bungie shipped a, a PlayStation game. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, there's, there are a lot of things we'll, we already know we need to work on that we continue to work on in Destiny and we will for years to come. Okay, can you explain how, how, how that happens? I mean, you look at it and you think like, well, there's a guy of Bungie, they shouldn't know that that was not kind of like a good idea to structure it the same way all over. <laughs> Well, I think the, depending on what ends up shipping, I mean, you build so many things for a, for a game, I know for a movie too, that end up on the cutting room floor as you're, as you're coming in to, you know, to launch. The, um, you know, the, the things that made it to launch, the pieces that are there, I think there are, there are a lot of similarities in a bunch of the missions that uh, uh, more variety would be better, and uh, certainly there'll be more variety going forward. Okay, I think I read a statement, I think it was from you, where you said that you, you wish you had had more time. Am I attributing that correctly? Um, well, I mean, I wish I could make time. I don't, know if, I don't know if more time, I mean, Destiny ended up, people are playing it, they're loving it, it's successful. And uh, the main thing with a game is you can't, it's really hard to tell what the right thing to do is, what to keep, what to, what to throw out, what, where to focus your improvement, and tell you how people are playing. And Destiny is such a big game and a broad game. When you look at the difference between the beginning of the game and getting up into light levels, into the high 20s, playing the raid, we really need a large number of people to play the game for a long time before we, it's really fair to say like, what we should focus on. And so uh, in the end, I, don't, I think more time for Destiny before we launched it wouldn't have been the right thing. Mm -hmm. I think uh, getting it out and getting real feedback from the fans so that we can keep moving the game in the right direction was the right thing to do. Okay. But you, do you really need the fans to tell you that they don't want to do the same thing over and over again? Um, 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's still a question of there are many cases. I think the, the Luke Cave is a great example of a large number of the fans being very, very happy to spend hours doing exactly the same thing in exactly the same spot. <laughs> so yeah. I think repetition in and of itself is not, uh, not necessarily, you know, a diminishment of fun. Okay. So, but when you, are you saying, yes, I, we are happy with the, 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 the quality there and this is what you can expect going forward? Um, I think I'd say for for Destiny, for every game I've ever shipped, the you always want the quality to be higher. The um, I think it's it's fair to say that there are enough fans who where the mission design doesn't doesn't meet their positive expectations that uh, we we'll focus on that. We will address that. There will be you know based on based on the feedback of the fans, we will we will make changes and evolve the game for over time. Mm -hmm.